So that leaves one event left on the track, and it is the women's 4x4 relay final. Another race for gold. Unfortunately, there is no Team USA in this event. The women cannot defend their title of a year ago on US soil, and here's the reason why. And I want to speak here as we watch Alexis Holmes get the baton out of the zone. I was online last night and saw some of the worst vitriol directed at this young woman on the screen, Holmes. It's almost like everybody forgot, oh yeah, you know, earlier in the week, she ran down Femka Bowl and shocked everybody, including the three of us. Alexis, you have a great coach and we believe in your talent. We look forward to covering you next year at the Olympic trials. Don't let one bad night at work affect your mentality. Well said, Otto. I mean, that was just unbelievable, unforeseen. They were prepared. We got to talk to the coaches after the race, and sometimes things just happened. They had moved and swapped them kind of last minute. She was on the inside. She didn't give herself a lot of space by the railing, but they'll be back. Now let's talk about the women in this field, Team Jamaica, who we think will be the favorites. They have a great team. Candice McLeod, a part of the Tokyo bronze medal team, in this event, Geneve Russell will be on second leg, also a part of that team. Nakisha Price, the 2023 NCAA champion, so she's the youngest on the team. And Stacey Ann Williams, who ran in the preliminary round for Jamaica that won the silver in Eugene. And she anchored them yesterday and looked pretty good on that anchor leg. The Jamaicans are incredibly consistent in this event. They've won a medal in this event at each of the last six Olympic Games and there have been very few world championship finals since the 90s that Jamaica has not taken part in and medaled. Canada will start in lane five. Shara, Stavern, Constantine and Conrad. Grace will run the anchor leg. France starts on the inside. Poland, Ireland, Italy are the first four lanes. Then Canada, then Belgium. Team GB, Great Britain and Northern Ireland. Then Jamaica, as Sonia mentioned. And the Netherlands are on the far outside with Femke Boll, the yep. recently crowned world champion in the women's 400 meter hurdles. Yeah, there you see the lineup for Great Britain. Jurgen will anchor them home. We think they are a podium threat for sure, as is the Netherlands on the outside in nine. So seven, eight and nine are the three teams that we feel like are going to have something to say about who is going to be on that podium. Set. Let's go. Last race on the track for a gold medal. It's the women's four by 400 meter relay. So that's Candice McLeod leading off for Jamaica. Saalberg for the Netherlands way on the outside. And Nielsen leading off for Great Britain. That's third from the right, third from the left, second from the left, and on the outside. So far, no one has made a huge impression. But as we say that, Candace McLeod of Jamaica making a move and running the first leg smart. You don't want to get out too hard and fade coming home. You give too much back to your competition when you do that. So you want to finish with fresh, strong legs to try to give your team an advantage. Keen to watch this second leg, Addo, between Leek Claver of the Netherlands and Geneve Russell of Jamaica. Yeah, Geneve Russell has had a good meet, even though I'm sure she would have loved to have done better in the hurdles, but Jamaica in the lead. Great Britain giving chase. The Dutch falling off now as Canada comes into the picture. That's Amber. Penning for Team Great Britain, running very well. Canada, it's Aliana Stavern. Look at this, second, third, and fourth between Team GB, Canada, and the Netherlands. That's a very definitive move, Sonia, by Kenya. They're now, Canada, they're now up challenging for third with the Dutch. In the background, don't discount either Belgium. Belgium is coming on strong. Vivet with a terrific second leg. Look at them closing on Jamaica. Yeah, Geneve Russell giving that lead back uh -oh. to Great Britain and to the Netherlands, which is going to set up the Netherlands for an opportunity to be on the podium with Femke Bo on that anchor. Well, we've been here before, Lee, haven't we? Yes. In the mixed 4x4, <laughs> four four, and we kept saying if they get the Netherlands close. But for now, the three countries that we thought would factor 
are first, second, and third. Canada has fallen off the pace a little bit, as has Belgium. I'm a PP of Great Britain, number seven in the middle there. Leek Klava ran a phenomenal second leg for the Netherlands to keep her country in it, but Son, Nikisha Price is handling the pressure. Yeah, Nikisha Price ran a great leg in the semifinal, so we'll see if she has anything left in the tank to really pull this one off because they're going to need a lead, lead as the Netherlands falls back just a bit. I think they're falling just far out enough of reach where it may not matter what Femke Bowl does, but we'll see. Remember, Femke Bowl is second fastest ever in the 400 meter hurdles and she has the stick and she's not that far back. Stacey Ann Williams, let's see what you got for Jamaica. That, for Team Great Britain, it's Nicole Jurgen. That was a 50.3 third leg for Price, but now it's all up to Williams to hold this lead for Jamaica. They haven't won this title since, since 2015. And Jamaica has put their least experienced leg on anchor leg. Stacey Ann Williams has run some good races for UT, but what would Femke Bowl do in this final 120 meters? Here nothing, we go. Nothing from Bowl yet. Jamaica has to be liking their chances. Here comes Bowl. She was denied the gold with win meters of the line in the mix four by four. Femke Bowl is chasing down Jamaica. It's right on the line. She's done it. Femke Bowl in the Netherlands. I knew it. You have someone who had disappointment like Femke Bowl had in the mixed relay. She comes back and wins in her pet event, the 400 meter hurdles. And then she kept her poise out of, she kept her head and ran down Jamaica. I told you they had the least experience, but Stacey ran up for not. She gave it everything she had. Woo! This meet has been sensational. Sensational. <laughs> what a perfect way to end inarguably one of the best world championships ever if not the best the netherlands have never won this title at worlds and they run down and run past the more favored countries to win their very first world title and femke ball gets her revenge lee folks at the <laughs> first at the first opportunity this young lady fell on her face within meters of gold it was heartbreaking it hurt, and she said, I want my revenge for this. The U.S. capitalized, and Bowl and the Netherlands were left with nothing. This just re-emphasizes how great Alexis Holmes was that night, because she ran down a woman who tonight ran down some of the best anchors in the world, Sonia. From a week ago to today, look at Femke Bowl. She was determined. When you said she was too far back, Otto, I said they needed just a little more room from this Dutch woman who is capable of doing this. Look at the joy and excitement on her face. Imagine, had she not fallen down, she would have left this meet with three gold medals. But leaving with two is going to be equally as sweet. Oh my goodness, what a finish to the track side of these world championships. The Netherlands for the first time in the 40 year history of the track and field world championships win gold in the women's 4x4. Four four. That was fun. That's why we love the mile relay.